The Tattoo Company has been running now since 1950. We're in our 68th season. We entertain people from all over the world. It's my job to make sure that the company and, of course, its charity works properly. And, of course, to oversee that InterServe do a wonderful job for us in constructing this huge facility. This morning we are at the iconic Edinburgh Castle. We are in charge of erecting the stadium for the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo. It's a contract that we are now in the fourth year and we have just um, renewed the contract for a further five years. Everything that you see around you is stored in a massive warehouse through in Livingston, 25 miles west of here. Everything is brought out in articulated wagons. We have a specific route that we need to follow. Um, we have wide loads that come in for particularly the steelwork, which have to be escorted. There's up to 400 loads for the erection of the stadium and 400 loads for the dismantle. Uh, we've been working with the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo for over four years now and one of the key aspects of that relationship is about partnering and our collaborative approach and making sure that we're providing solutions to any problems that we have as you can see we're in the middle of a very busy city centre environment so it's all about communication and dialogue and that's something that Steve and the team do very well uh, with the tattoo. The main project challenges in this place are of course that Edinburgh Castle remains open all the time. Part of the 1.6 million people who visit this historic site every year have got to continue coming in and out of the castle without disrupting their experience. So InterServe has a huge challenge of working discreetly to one side of that. The most unique aspect about this project is about managing health and safety and that's something that the InterServe team here working for the tattoo have done tremendously well. It's done through real detailed considered planning for a long period of time before we actually start on site and continue that through the process then obviously through the, the D-erection programme as well, it's just equally as important. We have 250 tonne cranes up here when we're doing the south side in particular, so we do have to be careful because we have very little room to the mover. We lift 16 tonne tandem trusses at any one time. The whole stadium, there's up to 650 tonnes worth of steelwork, and then we've got up to 600 tonnes of aluminium decking and framing and seating comes onto the job. There's 8,800 seats in here every night, so when you add that up over the 25 nights of the run, that's 220,000 visitors will see this show live. And now we're talking about television contracts in China and in India. If the wonderful CC Television and Dadorshan decide that they'd like to show this wonderful show, well, our numbers then go to one billion every year, which makes this a truly global spectacle. I think one of the great things to see about this project is the fact that we are collaborating not only with the client but also internally with our own sister businesses and bringing FM uh, into that part as well. During the shows and the concert we have facilities management understand units which form the WCs for the job and some technical storage areas and we have catering facilities to serve also provide all the cleaning services and we also provide security combined with the other FM sections. The personal pride in this project is really working with a client who's so unique to Scotland and the culture of Scotland in particular. That for InterService is so important and driving that forward is the relationships that we have with them on the ground on a daily basis. We're hugely proud of this project. Why wouldn't you be? It's at the very top of, of Scotland's capital. It's got wonderful engineering, wonderful people, and I must end just by saying thank you to InterServe.